Hello, good morning, good afternoon. How are you? We have made it to day 100. Here I am today in our woods. And for those people who know you and know me and, and know everything we've been doing over the last number of years, we've been working towards achieving a, a huge goal. And that goal is to be able to create a spiritual center to help people live a happy, balanced spiritual life with clarity and purpose. And these 100 days have, have made me even more determined to do so because I've truly seen the love, I've truly seen the growth, the transformation, the, the beauty of people connecting in with themselves and starting to understand that everything that we need is on the inside, but we're always looking for it on the outside. And today, as I sit here, in seven acres of ancient woodland in South Wales, which belongs to us. And one day we'll have the ability for you to come and sit on this very piece of wood that I'm sat today. And I've manifested that through a lot of hard times and a lot of ups and downs and, and grief and loss and happiness and joy and sadness. Equanimity is the word of the day for many days now, the ability under amounts, immense, uh, amounts of emotional, physical, mental pressure, but being able to stay grounded and balanced and understand that our thoughts are real, but they're not true, that we can separate our mental narrative to the actual situation, to be able to find love within ourselves through loving kindness, to be able to offer ourselves the same level of compassion, understanding and empathy as we offer others. Being able to be in the moment, breath by breath, minute by minute, second by second, and appreciate and value all of the things that have gone before us. To be able to be love, to be able to accept and acknowledge compliments without any ulterior thoughts. To be able to bathe in the sea of uncertainty and enjoy swimming. To be able to do so many things without a backdrop of pain, of hurt, of suffering. To let go of those things that have held us down for far too long that we've managed to accept, we've managed to forgive. What have these hundred days taught me? They've taught me that everything is underpinned by love. And love is everything. If we can love ourselves, love our imperfections, love our life, love everything that we have minute by minute, day by day, to be appreciative of everything that goes on. And then the ability to love others and love those around you. To love and connect with nature to love and listen to the birds. Let's listen. You know, there's a, there's a saying, isn't there? You know, be as free as a bird. Well, we all can be as free as a bird if we free ourselves from within. There is no magic wand. And maybe we need to do another hundred days and another hundred days and another hundred days. But if every single day we can make a slight difference to ourselves in a way that is so meaningful, that is so loving, that is so caring, that is so beautiful, then let's take something from that. And when I said this is, I wanted to go to a special place, this is a special place for me. I started manifesting this place 15 years ago. And whether you, just the spirituality side, so connection with self, but in terms of the spiritualism side, I was shown this by my guides all those years ago. They told me all of the things that I'm seeing now. And I found it, and I come away from my commercial life to being a spiritual one. And the back of these 100 days have meant that I really do appreciate everything. I appreciate you, I appreciate your support, I appreciate your love, I appreciate all of the communities, whether you've been on a course in Udemy or you've come on my Facebook page or you've found me on YouTube or you've been to my website or you know me for many years. Thank you. 
and from the bottom of my heart, I truly hope that now all of us can walk forward with grace, poise, proudness, love, empathy, compassion, and importantly, trust. Trust and surrender in everything that's in front of you and go with it. And just think about how we interact and engage with ourselves and interact and engage with all those people around us, with nature, as he speaks in the trees to me right now. So today isn't about a meditation. We've done enough of them. Today's about reflection, patting yourself on your back, giving yourself a huge up that you've managed to get to today. And guess what? So have I. It's been in a roller coaster. It's been up and down. But it's been worth it. And I wanted to keep this special space for the last one for us to be able to just have a few moments of just focusing on our breath and just listening to the sounds that are around us and appreciating everything that goes before us. Be love and give love and I'll see you all soon. But let's just spend a few moments, close your eyes, a deep breath in and just listen to the noise listen to the beauty of full sounds of the nature and I'm not going to put any credits up at the end I'll just fade it out so enjoy the next five minutes and once again thank you for your support and congratulations <laughs>